Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today I'm continuing on the AP Calculus 2016 free response questions, and we're looking at number five now. So the inside of a funnel of height 10 inches has circular cross sections as shown in the above. At height h, the radius of the funnel is given by this, where zero is less than equal to h less than equal to 10. The units of r and h are inches. Find the average value of the radius of the funnel. Okay. Average value of the radius is the integral of the radius um, divided by, um, well, let, let, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go r of h dh from 0 to 10 over 10 minus 0. It's always like the, the you're going to do the area under r of h or, or the thing and divide it by the width of the interval. Okay, so I'm going to go 0 to 10, 1 20th, 3 plus h squared. Okay, I'm going to bring this 1 20th out, and that 1 20th can combine with that 10 to be 1 over 200. Integral 0 to 10, 3 plus h squared dh. It's 1 over 200. <clears throat> Let's do it. This is 3h plus one third h cubed, evaluate at h equals zero to 10. One over 200, uh, when I plug in zero, nothing happens, so I just need to plug in 10. So that's 30 plus <clears throat> 1,000 divided by three. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold, so I'm, I'm um, feeling like I'm trying to avoid coughing here. Um, what do I do? I can make this over 600. 90 plus 1,000. Um, 109 over 60. Remember, there's no calculator in this one, so I think that's as close as I'm going to get. <clears throat> I'll leave it at that. Okay. Oh, inches. Put the units. B, find the volume of the funnel. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into little um, discs. Okay, so like I'm gonna slice it like this along the h direction. So this is dh. And I'm gonna find the volume of one of the disks. So the volume of this disk, if I kinda like it looks kinda like I enlarge it in this, and I have r, it's pi r squared, it's the area of the disk times the thickness of the disk. But I need to put this all in one variable. So um, pi r squared, pi r squared would be this squared, 1 over 20, 3 plus h squared, squared dh. And then I'm going to add that all up from 0 to 10. Um, pi over, I bring out the 1 over 20th squared, that's pi over 400, 3 plus h squared, squared dh. This is like kind of tedious math wise. This, se this seems like a harder test, my opinion, than the other ones we've been doing. Uh, 9, I'll expand this out. 9 plus uh, 6h squared plus h to the fourth. Sort of a lot to do without a calculator. I mean, not a graphing calculator, just numerically. I'll bring out the f pi over 400. And then 9h plus 2h cubed plus 1 fifth h to the fifth. h goes from 0 to 10. Pi over 400 times 90 plus 2,000 plus 
ten. Uh, what is that? A hundred thousand divided by five. That's twenty thousand. So twenty two. So I get pi over four hundred times two two zero nine zero. I can cancel out a ten, and so I'll write it as twenty two o nine pi over forty. Uh, inches cubed because it's volume okay C the funnel contains a liquid that is draining from the bottom at the instant when the height of the liquid is h equals 3 inches the radius of the surface of the liquid is decreasing at a rate of 1 fifth inch at this instant what is the rate of change in the height of the liquid with respect to time this is a rate of change problem r equals 1 20th 3 plus h squared this is the equation I have. They've given me that at h, equal, h equals 3 inches, dr dt is equal to minus 1 fifth. Okay, that's what the radius of the surface. And they want to know, they're asking me what dh dt is. Now to do that, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides of this equation. I get dr dt equals 1 20th times the derivative of this, the derivative of 3 is 0, 2h times dh dt. The dh dt is really chain rule coming out. Okay, so I solve for dh dt and I get, let's see, this cancels that to make that 10. So it's 10 dr dt over h. And now I know what each of these are. Um, 10 times minus 1 fifth over 3 because I, I know dr dt is negative 1 fifth I know at h equals 3 so that's negative 2 thirds and it would be inches per second okay so let's look at the scoring guideline for this one 109 over 60, 2209 pi over 40, and negative two thirds. So nailed that really well, uh, which is fortunate. I was able to do the math, but the algebra in the math was quite a bit more tedious than I was expecting. They don't, I don't know. The 2017, 2018 ones weren't, didn't feel like that tedious on the numerical calculations. So I wonder if that was a change or just got like this is a pretty I mean a tougher ish question so I hope you guys enjoyed that thanks for watching please leave a comment like or subscribe and I'll see you in the final uh, AP calculus for your response for this exam thanks for watching the video guys I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on twitch or discord so uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out Hope to see you there.